Hello everyone and welcome back to Loco Short Line Operations. For this short video, I'm going to be looking at something that's probably obvious to many of the regular players and so on and so forth, but is tripping up a lot of the new players and that is coal delivery. So if I bring up the map and we'll just hit refresh track because why not so i've got a coal mine over here heavy goods yard that takes coal tempest i believe takes coal whole other bunch of places to take coal i'm not sure about timber falls but there are certainly over here takes coal so we're going to Take a look. Actually, we'll bring this up. So, coal, heavy goods yard, city, industrial supplies, Rasberg and Longstrom on this map takes coal. But people are struggling on where and how to deliver it. So, we're going to take a look around the map and I'm going to show you exactly what to look for when delivering coal. So, coal i guess the first thing to cover is where on earth do you get it how do you get it well if you look on the map this is map one by the way you can see we are at coal mine and what you'll find is this structure here and it's a bit of a placeholder it's been a placeholder for a very long time and the thing is it works so the idea is coal is actually getting excavated by that massive thing over there and it is slowly moving which you can go and explore at your own leisure the crucial thing in the video today is this thing and how you would do it is if we get ourselves more or less lined up hit the b button and run a track we like that and then your little coal wagon or big coal wagon if you decide to wait until you can afford a big one you roll it slowly under here with your train and it will automatically fill so that is how you get your coal because i Yes, we need to cover how to get the coal before showing you how to sell it. So map one, that is what you're looking for. And now we'll jump over to map two. So here we are at the coal point for map two. Now as you can see, it's a bit more developed than map one. It looks like a proper industry here. And this could be a little confusing if you come from map one. You might be thinking you need to run through there, but it's actually here for your coal loading track. Again, run your track under here, and as you slowly run your coal hoppers, of which I've got some dashed over there, they will load as you slowly roll through. Anyway, we're going to jump back to map one. Where I'm going to show you the selling points. So here we are once again on map one, and we are at heavy goods. If we have a look here, heavy goods. And I'm sure all of you newer players are going, Yep, this is exactly where I come. I run my line through here, bring the wagons, I'm hitting the sell coal button, but nothing happens and there's a very good reason for that so that's your activate sell coal which i'm sure you've all done if you come through the back here though you'll find this hard baked dedicated piece of track and this is where you need to be delivering the coal and if you are running narrow gauge, that's fine. Get your narrow gauge, 
press B and use the P to level and center, efficient C. You can just build a narrow gauge track through the middle and it will still work. Or if we go back to wide gauge or standard gauge, you will see You can connect the standard gauge directly to that. And this, crucially, is where you want to run your coal wagons. So you activate it over there. And you roll the coal wagon through very, very slowly. So one or two mile an hour. And when it reaches the center point of this piece of track, it will start to discharge. So as soon as the edge of your coal wagon reaches the center point, it will start to discharge and sell. So I'd say roughly about there. And it will continue discharging until the back end of your coal wagon passes that point. So it's kind of designed so it's more realistic. You would slowly roll through an automatic discharge. Because if the entire thing become the discharge point, you could roll a train through there at 20 mile an hour and still empty your coal out, which isn't realistic at all. So there we go. That is heavy goods. So next off, we will jump over to City Industrial. And then following that, we will go to where are the other places? Just remind myself, Strasbourg and Longstrom, and of course, Strasbourg and Longstrom, all the way over there. But I will cut here and I will return in a second, and you can see exactly where the drop off points are for those as well. And so, for you mere seconds, for me a mere minute of driving across the map, we find ourselves at City Industrial Supplies, over by the big city. And as you rotate, this is rather easier to find. So there's your general cell cargo point. This is your coal cell point. And I mean. This place just lends itself to creating a massive yard, doesn't it? And as you can see, you can get military vehicles over there. But if you want to see more of that, well, you're going to have to go check out some somebody else's videos because I have never done anything with that. But it does look cool, doesn't it? Tanks and all the military goodies. Yeah, that is our next point of call. I will now skip ahead again and I will meet you at the next destination. So, once again, I welcome you to a new location. This is Brompton. We know it's not at all, it's Strasbourg. And then Longstrom is up there behind us so again you've got your green square and this is another really easy to find coal cell point this is right there heavy goods is probably the hardest one to find and because it's the other side of the buildings it's easy to go oh and completely miss it you know but here, you know, you've got one shed, one chimney, one cell point, one coal rail. And again, yes, it doesn't look great. Which is why I'm putting a plea out there. If you are a 3D modeler and would love or would even remotely like to help out the project, then get in touch via the official Discord or even... Talk to me in the comments below 
and we'll discuss how and what you can do to help the project because yes we would like these to be better would like some kind of proper coal shoot or something but right now we just don't have the 3d modelers to implement it so this is what we have right now anyway i am gonna move on get us over to longstrom and we'll take a look at the last cell point on this map before moving over to map two and finally to the last of the coal selling locations here on map one right up in the northeast corner is longstrom and there you go again as simple as can be there's not even any buildings or anything to help obscure this and to be fair the lod on these coal loading tracks is quite high so if you're coming from way over there for example you're going to be able to see where you need to link in well ahead of time and the joy is you can actually use that as a basis to line up your track for this cell point as well which as you can see they buy a lot i think they buy pretty much everything here which makes sense with it being a final destination so longstrom buys everything apart from logs so there you go now we'll jump over to map two and have a look at the selling points on there just to complete the video round it off but if you are enjoying this or finding it helpful not only let me know down in the comments but check out the playlist at the end of this video because i have a full loco short line operations playlist that not only covers gameplay but has a whole host of tutorials which is everything from basic track laying to how to operate locomotives all kinds of things so go check it out and in the meantime let's jump over to map two again shall we so map two locations and welcome to don's hill and as you can see probably a little obscured here because i have the narrow gauge line running through but there's your cell point for don's hill and here is the coal cell point so as you can see what i've done is simply put a line off which splits it carries on round and they rejoin back over there the line that runs into the quarry so if you look at the map you can see the quarry and don's hill is all up here on the top of a mountain and i can tell you it's a bit of a slog to get up here certainly with narrow gauge so this may be one of the last locations you tackle on map two but i do thoroughly recommend giving it a go Right. onwards and upwards to the next location oh. here we are once again at heavy goods and you can see the basic location and layout is the same ignore the popping wheels for the forklift so again it uses the same asset but in a completely different location looks very different because of that because we're not in the desert but it's exactly the same come through the back here you will find your coal drop off point over here and again just got a loop that runs around the back of the industry and we've got a whole bunch of tracks out the front here not completed the area the idea is to have some Sidings to put our either loaded or unloaded wagons 
wait in the train heading back out. So, next location, please. And through the miracle of editing and time condensation, condensing, condensation. I don't know. Ignore the English. But anyway, we are here. That's City Industrial Supplies, which is our third location. And if we bring up the map, so this is just up from Heavy Goods, nestled in here. And as you can probably see, I don't have any tracks up here. And the reason being is this particular map is laid out for narrow gauge. And yeah, the industry supplies you get here aren't really conducive to being carried on the narrow gauge. So it really is kind of a standard gauge material, which is cool, you know. But that's not what we're here to discuss and look at today. It's this one. So as you can see, not too far away, easy to find. Tracks ahead of the buildings. And that is number three. So now we move on to the fourth and final one for map two and indeed the final one for this video. So here we are at Longstrom. If I bring up the map, again we can see whereabouts we are. Top left corner again. Seems to be a popular place for Longstrom, regardless of the map. And this is one I kind of like the best actually because the coal drop off is raised in the air slightly and I don't know if that was intended or a mistake from the map building process but I figured regardless I was going to get a bit creative and as you can see I put a bridge section in it looks like a proper coal drop off point with a ramp, shed building over the top, a couple of sidings that come in, and you can see water tower planning to build here. So, I'm gonna have a little motive power depot here. Actually, forgot all about this and need to come out and build this and finish off. Yeah, that is the coal drop off point for Longstrom. And as you can see, I've even put in custom signs Welcome to Longstrom because I have a little trick in I have placed forklifts strategically around the map and all the locations. And using the F5 and F6 key, you can jump between vehicles. So that is how I get around the map so well. So, you know, free tip there. Especially if you're running map one. Get up some money, buy a bunch of forklifts, pop them on the back of wagons, take them to each location and leave them there. So if you ever need to skip across the map in a hurry, that's how you do it. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope it has been informative and helped some of you newer guys out that are struggling with where do I take my coal? How do I sell it? Why isn't it selling? And yeah, thanks very much for watching guys and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.